there. You're watching Generation E, CNBC's weekly half-hour focus on the trends and issues of the high-tech world. I'm Eunice Yoon. And I'm Keith Yu. Coming up in the show, Xbox Shake faces up. the real litmus test as it breaks into the Japanese market, home turf of rival Sony and Nintendo. And we've all heard of virtual reality, but what about mixed reality? One research team talks about its technology that straddles the two realms. Well, virtual reality has been around for over a decade, and although it's made its mark in movies like The Matrix and Star Trek, it's much more of a fantasy in real life. Well, now a research team at the National University of Singapore may have found a way to bridge the gap between what's there and what's not. It's developed what it calls mixed reality, a technology that allows people in any environment to interact with each other and with any virtual object that's placed there. CNBC's Nestor Lacanto finds out what it's all about. For about one and a half years now, a team of about 20 research engineers, postdoctoral fellows and students have been working 24-7 to create a different kind of reality. Mixed reality is the technique where we merge the digital objects into our actual physical world. And it's different from virtual reality because with virtual reality, uh, what happens is that the physical is completely replaced by the uh, virtual environment. Led by Dr. Adrian Chok, this university group believes that their technology has the potential to be developed into a variety of commercial applications. We're not just talking about specialized environments, but any type of application where you're currently using a computer, this can be enhanced by um, bringing that into your physical world. Okay. Take, for example, teleconferencing. Developed on mixed reality, the team came up with 3D Live, an application which allows users to see a real-time 3D holographic model of whoever they are talking to. You can see the people moving around. You can, say, put them on your desk or you can see life-size versions of them, say, sitting in a chair. And this, this is about as uh, natural as you can get uh, without actually having the, f the physical person there. And there's a mouse in the other... That's provided that everyone involved has the necessary hardware. To capture a 3D model of yourself, cameras or webcams are a must, and up to 15 of them may be needed. But if you don't want to use that many, you'll just have to settle for less of a 3D model then you'll also need a standard PC which connects to a head-mounted display that projects the virtual image to you. Still, until a more efficient way is found, it's unlikely that this method of teleconferencing will be widely accepted. And it's up to third parties to build on the technology, says Dr. Chok. His team will remain focused on writing the source code. We're creating the framework that people could uh, create uh, their own application. So we see it as kind of like, you know, uh, say with the internet, you know, creating the HTML framework and people can, you know, then create their own uh, web environments or web pages. The possibilities are manifold, from computer gaming to business presentations to 3D training manuals. Inquiries are coming in from various sources. The technology is to be licensed to the University of Japan. The U.S. military has also shown interest and they are not the only ones. The funding for our research was um, given by the uh, Singapore government. Um, by the uh, uh, Defence Science Technology Authority, which is part of Ministry of Defence. So they actually have a lot of military uh, applications. But even before the first virtual fighter steps into the battlefield, the next upgrade to mixed reality is already on the drawing board. There's always things to be done. Uh, the, with computer technology, you can never say the product is finished. I think a good example is Windows. You know, if Microsoft stopped that Windows 1.0, uh, I don't think they would be making any money. For Generation E, I'm Nestor Leconto. Can you imagine me?